Yeah, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Apple. I King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to an NBA 2K24 news video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the NBA 2K24 builder and the effect that the number one pick for the Spurs has on this builder. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are living under a rock or not, but Victor Wembanyama is literally 7'5 with an eight foot wingspan and he plays like KD. I'm going to say again, seven foot five eight foot wingspan and he's agile and some people would even say he got more moves in his bag than kd that's a scary sight but what i want to talk to you guys about is the effect that this number one pick has on the nba 2k24 builder now of course about a month ago ronnie talked about it because everybody speculated that he was coming to the nba of course victor everybody knew he was going to go number one you know what i'm saying i won't call him a freak of nature he is a godsend like this is going to be a player that is literally going to change the game the scope of things especially for the bag of tricks that he has but that's besides the point so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the video so it can jog your memory and then we'll get into this uh breakdown or i don't know rant let's get into the video he can shoot like kd he can dribble like a, a bunch of guys like a, a guard and he's seven five like Right. That is a video game character, if mm -hmm. we've ever that's seen that. Like, that is, that's what yeah. you want to make in 2K. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to deal with that because we also don't want everybody in the city to be Victor. Now that you guys have seen the video, you completely understand where Ronnie's coming from. He's saying that with Victor being seven foot five, having a jump shot that is, let's just say, wet, having moves, let's just say he could dribble. Being able to play back to the basket, being able to play face up to the basket, being able to dribble up top like a guard. He can dribble like a guard. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have been playing 2K as long as me, but I come from, from an era where eight foot players and stuff like that was kind of a thing. You know, mods, uh, hacks, exploits, then came along the demigods i'll never forget them but this is what victor is victor is literally a walking demigod in real life that has to be translated somehow into the video game now what i mean by that is if you look at victor and he has a new my team card and stuff like that in the game and he's unstoppable he's literally unstoppable in my team but how does that resonate into my career, the park, the rec, the theater, the stage, pro-am? How is that going to go? And I'm here to talk to you guys about that. So I've made so many builds over my time, right? And this is where I get very, very, uh, let's just say very, very cool with y'all. You know, y'all know me. I know y'all. But. It doesn't scare me that Victor is seven foot five with an eight foot wingspan and can do the things that he can do. You want to know why? Kevin Durant, won't nobody say it, but he's about seven foot one. Nobody, nobody will talk about it. Everybody just sweeps it under the rug. KD's not that tall. They're lying. Kevin Durant is about seven one, right? And has been playing the way that he's been playing since we first ever saw him high school college nba got even better won chips doing his thing about to come back with the Suns. like kd been doing this yet nobody has ever been able to make a true a true kevin durant build that means they have never been able to go inside the builder because of course kevin durant's let he's listed at six nine yeah I don't believe that, but nobody has ever been able to make a 6'11", 7'1", build that plays like KD. Over the years, 2K has tightened the grip more and more on build restrictions, abilities, attributes, and things of that nature for this specific reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm not scared. But for those out there who want to have a chance at possibly making something 
that is like Victor Wembanyama, let's go ahead and try to make it today in NBA 2K23. Let's see how restricted we actually are. So I've already done the hard part in analyzing NBA 2K23's builder with the maximum height, the minimum weight, and the maximum wingspan that I want to give this build. Because guess what? We can't make 7-5 builds yet. Now, of course, with Victor coming into the league, we know that 2K now has to stretch the envelope. But what them with them stretching the envelope, the contest system is going to have to be tweaked even more because guess what? Already guarding a 7-3 in the paint in the beginning of NBA 2K23's life cycle was very, very complicated because paint defense was almost non-existent. Within, I believe, about season five to season six, 2K changed that narrative. Paint defense now matters. It's now there. It's now present. So when the 7-3 is going up against the 7-1, sometimes, only sometimes, it still feels like that 7-3 build can't be stopped now i don't even want to imagine what a 7-5 build paint beast would look like because remember we're trying to build victor we're trying to build a a person that can handle the ball up top get a little pass off doing spin jumpers from the midi doing moving fades from the corner and from the wing being able to pull up for a jump shot that's what we're trying to build we're not trying to build a paint beast but that scares me a 7-5 paint beast actually scares me, okay? Now, look, check this out. 7'3", 230 pounds with a 7'10 wingspan. Now, I know you're probably like, yo, where did you get these metrics from? Okay, Victor is 7'5". We can only go to 7'3". He has an 8-foot wingspan. So, I took 2 inches off his height and 2 inches off his wingspan. That's good with y'all? Cool. But one thing about Victor is he's 20 pounds lighter than the minimum weight given for this build. Now, what that means is, let me go ahead and throw on 20 pounds real quick. Now, check this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and look at everything real quick and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what changes as I put this poundage on. As I put this pounds on, I can only go to 245, so I can only put on an extra 15 pounds. But within me putting on 15 pounds, my rebounding and my interior defense and my driving layup and driving dunk all changed. So with me being 230, I have a better driving layup and dunk because guess what? I'm a little bit more agile. I can move around. But when I put my weight on, my interior defense goes up, my offensive rebound goes up, my strength goes up. All of that goes up, and but one thing that really takes another hit is my speed. Now, of course, the Victor My Team card, it means nothing in the grand scheme of things because it's a My Team card. My Team cards are made to have you have the ability to do whatever the hell you want. And, and I'm a pray to God to those who think you can stop them. But for the My Career Builder, things look a little different. So let's go ahead and... uh go ahead and real quick right so of course when we come to the finishing right let's go let's go with a max driving everything right this player can get acrobat this player can get fearless finisher this player can get aerial wizard this player can get posterizer but he can't get fast twitch masher bully rise he can't get no real finishing ones right so let's go ahead and back out to shooting for a second now shooting i cannot lie catch and shoot on gold corner specialist on gold limitless range and dead eye on bronze claymore guard up green machine on gold blinders definitely needed on silver and blinders is in tier two that's what a lot of people have to realize too when you're making your builds you got to see what those tier two badges is amped tier one badge agent three Movings, you can still get movings with this tall build on bronze. Midi Magician is on Hall of Fame. That's scary having Midi Magician on Hall of Fame with this tall build. Space Creator, Hall of Fame in tier one. You can dump a lot of badges into this. And just think about it like this. Coming for somebody who has hit level 40 every season, I have all of the badge points acquired from that, which means I can dump 
all of my extra extra badge points into this build and probably have almost 30 shooting badges for a seven foot three build talk to me by the way my three pointer and my midi is at an 81 and you already know if you're making a victor Wimbayama build you're going to max out the shooting for sure but let's talk about the problem in 2k and where 2k knows this is what's going to have to change and why a 54 ball handle that's not it check this out with a build that has all of this playmaking pass accuracy right you only have a 54 ball handle and a 55 speed with ball if you're making a victor Wembanyama build you can't make it because you can't handle that rock you never get unpluckable at all you you just don't get it look you don't get it it is required for a 54 i'm sorry a 65 ball handle just for bronze and you need it on gold because in 2k if you don't have unpluckable you're a liability out there so you have to have a 84 ball handle but i'm gonna tell you what a lot of other people might do they might do this cheese right here they'll say oh well i'm cool i don't need it because guess what now i got unpluckable on gold that don't matter you need the animations you need the michael jordan dribble style you need you need a couple you know what i'm saying the paul george's you need some you know y'all see my ultimate dribble package video right those are the moves that you need to be sustainable to be a threat you need those type of moves you need some fast movement some crossovers you need all of that you and, and, and it's the thing the other badges you don't get you don't get killer combos you don't get hyperdrive you don't get ankle breaker you don't get handles for days you have to be at a minimum of six nine to get everything that you want clan breaker yeah it's no requirements on that but you notice you have to have a 77 ball handle to get it on silver. So essentially, this is where the build is broken. Because when NBA 2K24 comes out, guess what I think they're going to do? I believe 2K will have something set up where you choose the height of your build and there will be a badge reduction into the build. Whereas though the ratings might be there, but they might have to start stripping badge points away when you want to go with them taller bills. That's the only thing that I can think of because essentially if you want to make a seven, five, eight foot wingspan build and play like Kevin Durant, what do you give up in a sense? Will it be stamina that you give up? Will it be, it can't be acceleration and speed because guess what? Victor's pretty fast for his height. He, travels across the floor and takes up a lot of space in those lanes and fast breaks within five to seven steps his stride is way crazier than anybody else's and he's, and he's a little agile on his feet he's quick so where do they lose do they get it from the vertical do they take it from the stamina i mean of course he's not gonna have any strength any build with minimum weight in 2K has always stood the stand of time. Nah, we're not gonna give you any strength. Sorry, deal with that. So we already know he's not gonna be a big dunker. We already know that. He'll he'll probably have a, a nice little layup. He'll probably have some post control, you know, probably about right there. Um his driving dunk, his driving dunk will probably be some 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 slight, some real slight. But most of the time, all of this would be this, all this would be just just maxed out now of course his pass accuracy ain't as crazy right but i know for sure interior defense it probably i'm saying mm, i give him i give him like an 81 you know what i'm saying perimeter probably like a 40 uh about a still like that blocking already know he can, he can get some blocks he can get some blocks you know what i'm saying he can get some blocks um offensive and defensive rebounds i mean i know we'd probably go right about right there about right there but stamina wise Mm, vertical uh, i think we'll go right there with it and let me see we're gonna have to maximize acceleration and stuff like that so what else can we do i mean we can do pass accuracy and all of that but again it it don't matter we can't make this build right now because the build doesn't exist 
But if these are the restrictions for a 7'3", 230 pound, seven foot 10 wingspan build in NBA 2K23, what will a seven foot five, eight foot wingspan, will we even be able to be 210 pounds as a my player? That's what it all comes down to. Will 2K give us the tools to do whatever we want in the game and break the game? Or will they give us a demo, a test of what it would be like to make a seven foot five build and then get all of the info and all of the feedback from that before they come out with the final product on what they're gonna sell to us? Because that's what it comes down to. Because I can tell you right now, if 2K don't come out with a demo, they give us the game, they give us Victor's height, and five to seven YouTubers decide that they're gonna break the game immediately by labbing different creations and different variations of a seven foot five build. Everybody who made that build day one, by the time the YouTube video dropped, those builds would already been patched. What I mean by that is, if you didn't know, in NBA 2K23, if I made a build and that build looked or even played like it broke the game just a little bit 2k would tweak those attributes just to the slightest it wasn't nothing where i needed to make a video like this is outrage or whatever the case may be but it was eye-opening to see that on the fly 2k is willing to say whoa that build is a little bit too overpowered i don't think that build's attributes are right let's go ahead and tweak those on the fly the only thing that I do know is that whoever created the build prior, your build didn't change. It just made sure that the build, whomever tried to create your creation after, couldn't get everything that you got. Pretty weird, right? But with that being said, Victor, I can't wait to see you in the NBA, but I am legitly scared to see your counterparts at 7-5 out there at the park out there at the rec out there at pro-am out there in the stage out there at the the theater i mean i know i probably won't see too many seven foot five builds at the park but i know for sure pro-am and rec y'all going lit air because guess what I'm going to be one too <laughs> i want to thank y'all for watching this video man this is your boy ikc signing out i'll see y'all next time peace King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Appa, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Appa, King Kong, King Kong.